So as a bit of a preamble to this video, I'm just checking out my newly planted grass. I had a big tree root here that I painstakingly dug out and the new grass is just starting to come up. I'm using an impact sprinkler on this three times a day just to keep the soil moist. And then I had another tree that uh, I also dug the roots out here and it was right on the edge of the driveway. So I had to excavate the driveway and into the yard. Had the driveway patched and then once again refilled it with new soil and the grass is coming up. But that's not the purpose of this video. I had done an earlier video on this driveway raised garden and um, I got a couple of comments from people who said how did it turn out. Well this is the way it turned out as of the last day or two of July 2020. Um, it is doing what I wanted it to do. I just planted it with this particular type of marigold just so I have something colorful here. And I didn't want to be hassled by it so um, it's sitting here. It's not going to collect enough rainwater on its own to be viable and it hardly has rained in the entire month of July anyway. So what I did was, and this is actually more interesting I think, is uh, I have all my watering for the front of the house on a Milnor timer. And this is handling the uh, series of pots I have here for these, uh, what are these, petunias? I think they're petunias in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pots. I've been doing this for years. Just to add some color to the front yard. And I actually have a hose running from the timer and it goes here to uh, a Dripworks mainline hose which then runs in a big circle around all these pots on top of the old cistern cover. And then it taps off with these smaller hoses and each one goes to a uh, a sprinkler head on a stick that handles that particular uh, pot and it just runs for a couple minutes every morning just to keep it wet and that works really well. Ah, the timer just kicked on and now this is getting its midday watering um, this one doesn't have the impact sprinkler because of the shape. I just have an Andrews sprinkler soaker hose. I don't know if the video picks up the, uh, I think it probably does a little bit. You can see the water coming out of it. Um, and that keeps that area moist. And I also put some grass seed and dirt along the edge of the driveway there where the grass wasn't really coming up to the pavement. So, uh, the sprinkler hose runs all the way out there, so it keeps that area wet too, and hopefully that'll fill in a bit better while I'm at it. Anyway, back to this. Um, I have I have two other outputs from the timer here doing the two sprinklers for the grass, and then the fourth one runs through a hose along here along the front of my porch and then it has to cross this walkway which I used to get to my garage and for that I bought this on Amazon it's just a uh, a cable and hose um, I don't even know what they're technically called but uh, the garden hose just runs through there very nicely like this and it's made out of heavy rubber it doesn't move around and then at the end of it it goes through a right angle fitting uh, from Dripworks and then a few inches up to the top of the raised garden and then another right angle fitting Then it's held with a 
copper pipe clamp. It's just something I had laying around. And then it runs to a mainline pipe that just runs in one direction to that corner and stops. And then it's going to be kind of hard to see it. But I have a drip hose then uh, here just running in a uh, pattern. It's too stiff to make a right uh, a sharp bend so it kind of runs in overlapping loops that progressively go across the raised garden held down by um, staples so it doesn't shift around and it just weeps water out of there. It doesn't spray it just dribbles water out of the holes that are every six inches and there's enough crisscrossing of it that it keeps the whole thing nice and moist. So obviously they're thriving. I think it looks pretty good from the street. And um, while I'm on the subject, I have another video on where I had my sewer line dug out um, due to a collapsed uh, fitting. And when I had the uh, area where the tree was dug out, repaved. I had them do this one too. So that's about how that came out and the uh, the clean out is flush with it there. It's at a slight angle. It's not quite straight up and down but that's fine. So this just provides a one month after view of a couple of these things that I had other videos on. Hope you found it interesting.